Welcome to episode 390, Isak Chuba, from high school dropout to global tycoon. This is an outline of episode 390, part 1, biography of Chuba. This is an outline of episode 390, part 2, seven lessons of Chuba. There are four reasons to study Isak Chuba. First, he arrived in Israel as a refugee baby. Drop out of high school at age 12. Second, he owns properties all over the world. Third, he's the father of Israeli energy. Fourth, my friend Rancif recommended him. Let us meet Isaac Shuva, one of the richest and most secretive self-made billionaire in Israel. <laughs> The new luxury resort will hold over 3,500 rooms, private residences, retail space, and a casino, and will resemble the Plaza Hotel in New York, also owned by Chuva. At a cop. Let me promise all of you today that we will build in this beautiful city one of the most magnificent hotels in the world. with many garden attractions. To a Jewish family in Tripoli, the capital of Libya in 1948. Around this time, his paternal grandfather, Rabbi Yosef Susu Chuva, was murdered in the pogroms in Libya. When Yitzhak Chuva was six months old, his parents and their eight children immigrated to Israel as part of the Jewish exodus from Arab and Muslim countries. They settled near the city of Nertanya. At age 12, Shuba dropped out of high school to help his family did construction and farming. How Shuba became low-income housing king of Israel. It took him about 25 years. First, in 1970, he was building low-income housing in Netanya. In 1978, he formed a political party called Men Off, was elected and led in charge of construction in Netanya. Third, he hit the big time in the 1990s with the arrival of 900,000 Russian Jews. That's almost a million. His business exploded. Then Shuba quickly moved from low-income housing to luxury hotels and beyond. Plaza Hotel. New York's famous Plaza Hotel. The crown jewel of a collection of prestigious buildings around the world. All owned by the El Ad Group, Yitzhak Chuba's privately owned real estate developing company. I believe in God. I have in my office for Torah. In 1998, after a hostile takeover, Chuba owns majority of Delic Gold. Oh, the Delic Group with its prominent group of holdings in Israel. Since then, Delek has become one of the leading companies in the Israeli economy, with businesses including real estate, automobiles, biochemistry, communications, and insurance, as well as gas stations and leisure stops throughout the nation. Delek USA, a subsidiary of Delek, operates in the United States as the parent company of hundreds of gas stations and convenience stores, as well as refineries in Texas. And his company Delek invested and discovered a huge reserve of offshore natural gas. In 2013, the first year of, of operation, it saved 1% of the GDP of Israel. Part 2, 7 Lessons of Isik Tshuva Lesson number 1, Building His Business from Ground Up Born to a poor immigrant parents with 10 siblings, he dropped out of high school at age 12. Yitzhak Tshuva is an Israeli success story, an innovative entrepreneur who built his business from the ground up. Lesson number 2, where he learned construction and engineering from the Israeli army. 
He did his mandatory military service in the Israel Defense Forces and the Engineering Corporations. After his service, he began working in the construction and engineering department of the Israeli Defense Ministry, where he was responsible for a variety of construction projects, primarily on military bases all over the country. One of these projects included the construction of fortifications along the Barlev Line, near the Suez Canal, after Israel captured the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt in the 1967 Six-Day War. Lesson number three, he grew up in low-income housing. He got rich by building hundreds of low-income housing apartments in Netanya. In the 1970s, Chuva became a developer of low-income neighborhoods, primarily in his hometown of Netanya. He was involved in the construction of hundreds of apartments in the city. Lesson number four, luck. He was in the right place at the right time. His luck was the 900,000 Russian Jews that arrived in Israel between 1989 and 1992. His business of building low-income housing exploded. Lesson number five, moving up the economic chain quickly. First, from low-income housing to luxury hotels. Second, from real estate to conglomerate. Third, from conglomerate to energy king. Lesson number six, he's a tough negotiator. Probably why he's so secretive. In 1998, Chuva astonished the Israeli business world by taking over control of the Delek Group with its prominent group of holdings in Israel. Since then... Lesson number seven, he's the father of Israeli energy. It's a running joke here in Israel. Moses led the Jews through the desert for 40 years to the only place in the Middle East with no oil and no gas. It's changing. Israel has at last discovered so much natural gas, it's heading towards energy independence, a gas exporter in just a few years. What have I learned today? Born poor and dropped out of high school at age 12 to work to support his family. Isaac Tsuva is a story of zero to billion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.